Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your reading. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So what we have is, we've got welcome the new. Can you see that? Probably not. Uh, end of era. All right, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, hold on one second. It made it absolutely worse. Okay, I won't. Uh, okay, it is what it is. Um, memories. All right, sentimental. Feel Some of you need to learn how to leave stuff alone because I, I should have left that alone. Um, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. It's okay. So you've got newness coming in for you. Wow, an end of an era is ending for you. Some of you, like, it's like a new way of thinking, new way of expressing yourself because we've got all this red here. Maybe you used to be super passionate about something, someone, you didn't know how to kind of Govern yourself accordingly. Temperance card. You know, kind of uh, mediate your um, your emotions, your thoughts. Take the middle ground. You do too much. Could not. Didn't leave it alone. Okay. Um, so you come into a place of understanding that, you know, it's okay to be in the middle about it. It's okay to say less, say nothing, do nothing. It's okay to, it's never okay to like emotionally respond. You need to mentally react and not emotionally respond so that you can, um, it's like consciousness, higher level of consciousness of how to operate. The, the I heard like ferocious and anger. I don't know. Maybe some of you were like angry. Maybe some of you only had two sides: either really nice or really met or really bad or really mean. Black or white. It was either I'm really nice to you or I'm really not nice. And you're gonna learn how to like temper that. You know, be in the middle. Do nothing. Stay still. You don't have to be so polar. Right? Okay. Um, especially in regards to memories. Especially the bad memories about a particular person, place, or thing. You don't have to be on fire with it. Or about it. Or so passionate about it. To where it comes off as aggression, hurt, pain, argument. Uh, out of your mind, out of your emotions, not able to govern yourself accordingly. Even though there's like leftover residual sentiment, feelings for this thing. And the memories keep you there. But you're still going to learn how to govern yourself. So life is like with 10% of what happens to you, but 90% how you respond. So something could, could have happened to you. Something very... You know, not good. Contrary to good. And you still have the memory of it. And you still have those leftover feelings. Because you feel like it could have been avoided. Or it could have, I don't know, you feel like it could have gone differently. But it's about, like, maybe, again, rewriting the narrative here. Welcoming the new, maybe a new mindset. Some of you about to welcome new in terms of you coming out of like poverty or poverty mindset or broke assness or just having enough. Like because you got support coming in, whether that's like uh, it talks about child support, money, a large sum of money, loans, or support, support of the universe, getting support so you can move forward. Whatever it, it, this is, it brings you vitality, energy. So you got support coming in. Um, 
a large sum of money or a win, like you win something or Let's see what's going on here. Oh, let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. What's happening for Aquarius? Children, you could be a child. No, I'm joking. Um, you are someone's child, right? Or you have children. Children could be playing a part in this. Maybe you're welcoming a new baby or or plural children, multiple births. Um Maybe your children are going to see through something or see through somebody. Um, they got a new perspective. Yeah. They're going to communicate with you. Um, young female. Right. Um, somebody who is young, concerned about fashion themselves, hair, school, maybe not really committed to anyone. This could be you. This could be someone around you. Communication. This could be your child. You could get some childish communication from somebody who is in this energy. More, more so concerned about self. Self-centered. Fashion. Beauty. Looking good. Um, clothing. Courting man. Okay, so it's like somebody wants to date you. Maybe you're going to get someone new to date. Maybe you're open to it. What is this all about? <laughs> Ice queen in, in reverse. Okay, very nice. So some of you coming out of, you know, isolation, being a divorcee, being hurt, being hurt about it. You're letting the, out, the ice melt. So you're really trying to get over it. Sentimental feelings, right? The sentiment is there, but... You're not extremely like somber about it and you're not over the top and passionate and angry about it either. You just kind of let them letting the ice thaw. Some of you this could be like same sex relationship and then here we've got like a man coming in for a woman who's coming out of that energy past life. So this could be a, maybe a past life um, connection. I uh, maybe known them in a past life. Um, maybe some ties to Egypt. Um, let's see. Friendship. Okay. So you guys are gonna build friendship, or this person misses your friendship. They want to come back to you. Let's see what's going on here for Aquarius work it's gonna be hard work to keep this together young female young i mean young male young female. maybe you guys dated when you were young you know this person from your hometown or from growing up it was always a friendship they're coming back to date you You can make this person through work. If this is a past relationship, then this relationship was hard work. Maybe you both weren't ready. It was like friends with benefits or this person promised you more, but it wasn't. If some of you get a new love, you might be a, an older woman, a mature woman. You get a new love and true love because whatever you were involved in, Right, it was for the short term to show you what you don't deserve, and there was a breakup. This is a clock. It was at a expiration date time, right? And it was like an open relationship, maybe with somebody who was calculated and didn't really want a relationship. And now you got like somebody from the past coming back, maybe that you were a friend with that's long distance. You got you got a lot of stuff coming towards you, Aquarius. Jesus. Next incidents, please. Let's get something new coming in. What's new? 
Maybe you got somebody new coming in. I don't know. Shit. King of Wands. So you can put yourself out there. Someone new. Maybe someone charismatic, outgoing, a little bit tied to their home. Psychic, almost. Page of Pentacles. Um, consistency, good news about money matters. Yeah, we did have the support card. It also talks about maybe somebody's got a lot of options, but they know they need to choose one. So you got somebody maybe making a choice of you. Yeah, in a pentacles. These two cards together, though, sometimes can read as if someone wants to string you along, you know, give you that page of pentacles in, in, in hopes that you'll stay for a long time and as they promise you the ten of pentacles. Damn, I can't make it up with the seven of swords coming behind it. Um, I'm not going to do this today. The moon card, feminine energy, six of cups, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio, king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be same sex. Ooh, king of pentacles. So you got three kings here. If you're in business... Career, it's going to boom, baby. Whatever is going on in your business, and your career. If you read the Tarot, if you do something with the occult, um, with religion, spirituality, with herbology, um, wealth is being transferred to you. And it could be just a wealth of knowledge. It looks like you're going to be on fire. All these kings here, it says successful business empire. Whatever it is you're embarking on or business endeavor. Okay? And... Um, this could be same-sex connection also uh, where somebody's trying to get away with something, okay? Uh, yeah, behind your back. They, they're saying they want to go back to simpler times, easier times with you, a loving period with you. But that could just be for the time being because they're really, the, they're trying to trick you. Seven, mastery, trickery, deception, okay? Uh, the five with the five swords there, chaos, um, Luciferian. Like so, this is like um, a ploy, a scam. They're trying hard to get away with. Also, they they want you in a place of confusion, confused, convoluted, disoriented. People are easily controlled. Because they don't know which way to go, right? So I can tell you, hey, go left. You, you can't figure it out. You're confused. So somebody wants you in that energy. But it looks like somebody you come to a higher level of consciousness and you understand this. Or you're coming to a place of understanding with the temperance card. You know, um, you're doing nothing. You're getting through these tough circumstances. You're not doing the same thing. Oh, some of you about to come into a very healthy, wealthy marriage, whether it's with work, you're going to marry yourself to work, or it's like a marriage. Like, somebody is coming to date you. Big wish fulfillment. Because you got to a place of alignment. Aligning your chakras. The triangle, equal parts, understanding, masculine, feminine energy, divinity, holding it all together, understanding how to govern your emotions on this earth accordingly. You know, well, think about that. Like a big emotional outburst, it has led to, it can lead to loss of life. It can lead to you doing something that puts you behind bars for the rest of your life it can lead to you know loss of limb it can lead to anything that's you know detrimental right devastating and that's why it's important for you to come to that higher consciousness and understand how to govern yourself accordingly feminine masculine energy it being the higher octave of both don't be in lower vibration feminine energy where you're cunning you're trying to be slick. You're getting, trying to, you know, slither. Don't be in negative masculine energy where you dominate. You're tyrant. You're intolerable. 
there's no mercy so it's like you gotta you gotta learn this and um Oh, another lesson. I won't get, get into that. That deep healing. All right, let's get out of here. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below if you want to get your own personal reading. Um, readings are on sale for $25. You get 10 minutes with me. Take advantage. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading. Then I answer your questions. Every Thursday, I answer free questions. So take advantage. Next Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we'll have our Halloween party. I'll be dressed in my costume. You should come dressed in yours. All right? Hit that Zoom link. Let me see you. All right? That's what I got, Aquarius. You've been existing in some like chaotic energy for far too long. It's just the universe is like, come on, just welcome something new, boo. Even if you try it and you don't like it. You know how someone will say, hey, try this octopus. You're like, I never had octopus. And like, just try it. Just try it. You might like it. This is the universe right now. Just try it. Just try something different. You might like it. You might just heal. You might just get the life you want. Just try it. Just try it. <laughs> 